the time of releasing this video, Google Street View does not have any high definition shots of the roads that go through Hopkins Park. You're welcome for coming through in the clutch. Hopkins Park is about a 20 minute drive east of Kankakee and a two hour drive south of Chicago. Hopkins Park is a part of Pembroke Township, and when doing research on this community, I've seen it referred to as both Hopkins Park and Pembroke Township. It is in Kankakee County, Illinois. Even though not many people live here, it's one of the poorest communities in the U.S. If you look closely at the map, you can see that much of Kankakee County is farmland. Within the farmland, you can see an area that's made up of woods rather than crops, and that area is Hopkins Park. It's not too far away from the Indiana state line, either. Well, let's get to it. Shall we? I do start the video in the parking lot of Kankakee Community College. Please excuse that I just got out of my advanced algebra class. I'm just trying to get in those easy college credits before I go for my bachelor's. <laughs> okay, that was a bad joke. I already did that about 10 years ago and I already have my bachelor's degree. If you're unfamiliar with my videos, I do speed up my videos in order to show more in a less amount of time. You can always keep up with the real time that it takes me to drive in the lower left corner of the screen. If I go too fast for you or if you think that I'm going too slow, you can always adjust the playback speed by clicking the gear icon if you're watching on PC or by selecting the three dotted menu if you're watching on a mobile device. Isn't YouTube great? Also really quick, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out some of the playlists that are featured on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out my USA Small Towns playlist and my Illinois playlist. Currently, I am on the far southern outskirts of the city of Kankakee. If you haven't seen my Kankakee video, you should check that one out. In that video, I explained how Kankakee County is a segregated region, both racially and economically. In this video, I'm going to illustrate even more so how true that is. Hopkins Park is one of the poorest communities in the United States. In my travels so far, I haven't seen too many places like Hopkins Park. Even though Hopkins Park is home to only 450 or so residents, it's very odd that Hopkins Park exists where it does. Usually you'll see communities with the makeup of Hopkins Park being located within an urban cluster of other cities. It's also odd how spread out Hopkins Park is. It'll be a while before we get there, but the sky was doing cool things, so I decided to include this in the video. If watching the sky and viewing the scenery made up of cornfields isn't your thing, you can always skip ahead by looking at the timestamps that I provided below. You're welcome.
And here we are, Hopkins Park, Illinois. Of the 457 residents that live here, the median household income is 18,500. So few people live here, which makes it even more unknown to the general public. U.S. Census reporter lists Hopkins Park as having a 31% poverty rate, but with a median household income of only $18,000, I find it really hard to believe that the poverty rate isn't higher. As we go through Hopkins Park, you won't see many houses. Most of it is woods and empty lots. At the time of releasing this video, Google Street View does not have any high-definition shots of the roads that go through Hopkins Park. You're welcome for coming through in the clutch.
Over time, people have continued to leave this community to where now there's very little tax dollars to provide services off of. I'm sure Hopkins Park gets plenty of its financial assistance from Kankakee County. As a whole, Kankakee County doesn't do too bad economically as the median household income for the county is $57,000 per year. For whatever reason though, the county is segregated as it has pockets of high poverty rates within the city of Kankakee and out here in Hopkins Park. Also keep in mind that the county is technically a part of the Chicago metropolitan area. It's very weird as you drive along. This road has two names. It's 13,000 East and it's also Main Street. It's weird though because you see vegetation on both sides of the road with little driveways here and there. And then you see a gas station amongst a few other buildings and then it goes right back to being vegetation. Is that supposed to be the downtown where the gas station is? Within Hopkins Park, there's no police force or fire department. There is a nearby elementary school that serves the kids in the area, but no middle or high school. The town can't afford much else. The ones who live here have to drive 20 minutes away at the very least to get to a grocery store in the Kankakee area, unless the local gas station can serve their grocery needs that is. There are dozens of abandoned homes sitting off of the roads that line the landscape of Hopkins Park, hidden within the roadside vegetation. And this looks like a former school that has now since been abandoned. It's also sad that Hopkins Park has one of the highest cancer rates in the state of Illinois. There's speculation on whether or not there's been a large amount of industrial dumping of harmful chemicals in nearby areas, which does indeed contribute to higher cancer rates. Imagine not only living in a home that was built near harmful industrial dumping sites, but living in one and not knowing what toxic chemicals you're being exposed to by turning on the faucets in your home and by breathing it every day over the years. Toxic industrial dump sites also cause radiation that can have harmful effects on humans if overexposed.
There's not much information out there on Hopkins Park when you try looking it up. I was able to find an article from all the way back in 2010 that mentioned that there is no weather sirens here to warn the residents of severe weather. Anyone that lives or has lived in Illinois knows that there's plenty of severe weather that comes through this area, and tornadoes are common. As you can see in this video, most of the homes in Hopkins Park are mobile homes, and those can be easily damaged when it comes to severe weather. You can also see that there are only a few paved roads that go through Hopkins Park. In days of bad weather, over over the years, school buses have not been able to get through some of these gravel roads. I also was able to find an article that dates back to 2003 and said that 50% of Hopkins Park residents didn't have any running water or sewer lines. That's pretty typical for rural communities though I feel like, as there are plenty of rural homes that rely on well water and have septic tanks buried underneath their backyards. Here, you can see the lone elementary school that serves the area.
Well, that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe as doing all of those things helps these videos out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video of an area near you. And if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of the playlists that are featured on my channel. You might enjoy checking out my USA Small Towns playlist or my Illinois playlist. One last thing, as if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always follow me on my social media media accounts, those links are attached to my YouTube channel homepage. We'll see you next time. Peace!